Good afternoon and welcome to this week's edition of the Association of PEMF Professionals. I am Jerry Dreesen, the AOPP Executive Director, and I want to talk a little bit about, uh, again, kind of going through the different chat rooms and some people have talked about, you know, what is this with Tesla? What is this with Gauss? And so today I thought I'd uh, walk a little bit uh, through what some of those meanings are. And let's get going with that. So, um, and then also for those of you that are just joining us, the AOPP is for the Association of PEMF Professionals, the membership that's open to anybody that wants to help us pursue and advance PEMF. If you are a uh, machine user, or if you have a device and you wanna know more about it, this is where you can go to learn about that. But we're currently, uh, we have 11 countries that we have members in now, and we're excited. We're continuing to grow. And it's all because of you. We're very grateful for those of you that are with us. You are helping us out immensely with, you know, not only helping people learn about their devices and best practices, but then also, you know, on the human side, on the, on the horse side, on the small animal side, but then also the legislative side. So it helps us pay for our, our lawyers that we have. I don't mean to use air quotes because they are lawyers. Um, our lawyers that we have to go in and help fight these battles. So it's an educational system. Once the boards are educated on what PMF is and what we do uh, as far as education and certification, then the doors are opening. So we can do that with your help and your membership helps us with that finance. All right, let's jump in. What the heck is Gauss? And, you know, it's a, it's a um, term that we use when we're talking about our devices. But I don't know if some of you may not know that it's named after a person. And that is Johann Karl Friedrich Gauss. And he was born back in 1777 and he lived to 1855. And he was just a, a, a great mathematician. He did lots of other things too. You can look him up and read more about him. But he had lots of uh, exceptional influence in many fields of mathematics. And he's also ranked among one of history's most influential mathematicians. And then he developed a collaboration with uh, Wilhelm Weber and with new knowledge in magnetism including finding a representation for the unit of magnetism in terms of, this is important, mass, charge, and time. So the mass of magnetism, the charge of magnetism, and the time that it's delivered. And then with that, he formulated uh, what this is all about, and then he used his namesake. So he attached his name Gauss to that. And he developed a method for measuring the horizontal intensity of magnetic field on earth. So it's like from the ground to the sky, uh, which is used today as far as the, the techniques. And so that bounce of magnetic field from our ionosphere down to, down to our um, ground is uh, what is measured in Gauss. And then he also worked out the mathematical theory for separating the outer and inner magnetos magnetospheres <laughs> uh on earth and he has three different types uh but as you can see the geomagnetic observatories these are all the red dots here on on earth this is what we currently have and pemf devices uh mimic earth's natural magnetic field but also known as the geomagnetic field and it's from earth's interior out into space uh where it interacts with uh let me just hide this for a second where it interacts with the solar wind and a stream of charged particles emanating from the sun. The uh, other thing is these are the three different, there's a fundamental mode, which is what we use, the 7.83 hertz, the second order and the third order. Those are the different hertz that are there. But we use the Sherman resonance in PEMF because that has the best outcome when it comes to cells and growth uh, germinating seeds when it first started they used all the different um, bandwidths and this was the one 
that work the best as far as um, uh, power and then obs observe it, observing what it did to human tissue, cells, things like that. <clears throat> so that's the 7.83 hertz on average. Now, the other thing is PEMF units use the Sherman resonance and then gauge the mass, the charge, and time, and then display it as Gauss. So when you have a device, most likely it's tuned into the 7.83 hertz. Um, different companies will use different combinations of hertz, or they'll use also other frequencies in combination with it. And then the amount of power, which is the mass, the charge, and the time, to deliver that through the attachment to the person or the animal um, or the plant. Uh, and so that should give you a little bit of understanding when you're looking at buying products or you already have one, it says that it has so many gauss. Um, and then uh, that lets you know when we talk about power, you know, what's, you know, what's the difference in gauss. And so it's the amount of power. And then we talk about, you know, you have that instant power, but if it's a lower gauss or lower power, it just needs more time. So you can, you know, go to sleep on a mat that is a very low gauss uh, and absorb it over time, or you can shorten that time, but have by having more power. So those are some of the terminologies that we throw around when we talk about uh, gauss and power. And basically the higher the gauss, the more mass charge and time your PEMF device has. Uh, there is a, um, Another version of Gauss, which is Tesla, and all Tesla is, is a larger unit instead of Gauss. So uh, 1,000 Gauss is one Tesla. So it's just a, it's a different version of measuring units. So it's like milliliter and liter. So, you know, they're both same amount of, of, Units is just that, you know, like one liter is 0 0.001 milliliter, for example. So when you're doing the math and you're throwing it out there, hopefully I did that right. Um, you can see what we're talking about. So with that, uh, now you know a little bit more about uh, what we're talking about when it comes to uh, using the uh, Gauss in our system and when we talk about products that use gauss or tesla and what that really means as far as the unit but it's the delivery of the hertz through power um, mass and time so there's your science for the week congratulations uh there will be a short quiz at the end of the broadcast just kidding um but if you would like to, if you're interested in becoming a member of the AOPP or those of you that are, again, we would love for you to uh, like and share on uh, Facebook, which is where we are now. Um, those of you watching on YouTube, you know, if you can like that, feel free to grab the link and throw it in anything that you've got going on. Um, so we've got Facebook, we've got Instagram, we've got LinkedIn, we've got YouTube. You can go to all of those places and find us and like our broadcasts and the things that we're putting together. But also on our website, uh, PEMFprofessionals.com, we have a blog now too. And so we're beginning to put our articles in there as well. So feel free to visit that and, and like those as well. So if you want to become a member today, you just go to our website, pmfprofessionals.com. Again, if you have any questions, tips, if for some reason I uh, did my math wrong <laughs> on, on Gauss, um, uh, feel free to send us any questions or tips at info at pmfprofessionals.com. Again, I'm Jerry Dreesen, and I want to thank you again for uh, spending a few minutes with us and learning more about PEMF and how we can help you with your business. Take care. We'll see you next week.